whatever makes you different. Your best music is not just a version of somebody else's. The artists that really have longevity are the ones that really figure out what makes them different and they really just let people see that. It wasn't really until I kind of focused on like making sure I had good production value and just creating things that I thought were cool even if they were weird or whatever that was kind of when I actually um, you know got a break into the industry and you know I think having confidence in yourself and your own musical taste and you know that's what's really going to get you to create something that's cool and unique. When you drop a new song or something I really live for that just wait for people like right when it drops and summer that I really um, was kind of going all out with touring and doing a, you know all festival season and stuff like that so you know it's been amazing obviously the highlights are every time I actually get to get on stage and DJ in front of people and I get to do what I love for a living so I mean I'm not gonna speak for Jorge but man decent block parties just you know just the alleyway and just people jumping up and down and it was that like I don't know about like homemade is the right word, but it was that like just, you know, friends putting together shows and, you know, just like weird kids playing weird music. The reason why I love Mad Decent, or one of the reasons I guess, is, um, I mean, everybody who's on the team and anybody who, who makes decisions on what music's gonna be released and how to release it is super like flexible and just, you can tell that everyone who works there just has a passion for music and just wants to release cool music and they want you to be able to like follow your creative inspiration. They bring like hip hop and pop together with EDM, right? Like there are a lot of labels that do one or the other, right? But they were to me the first to really like bring them both and say, we're gonna throw these parties, right? We're gonna throw Maddie's at block parties. And to me, like I love hip hop, like there's always gonna be some hip hop swag and like all the music that I'm doing. And uh, there wasn't a label that embodied that as much as Mad Decent. So right now I'm working on like uh, a lot of bass music, a lot of hip hop, uh, but I'm, I'm based in New York. So most of my studio like collabs is like, it's like old school like emails, you know, email and stems back and forth. There are a lot of uh, hip hop collabs that I really want to get into also. Uh, like Travis Scott, Denzel Curry, Three Stacks, uh, 21 Savage. Um, yeah, I got a lot of music to make. This next six months, year, I really start working with new vocalists because I haven't, that's kind of one of the things, you know, I've worked with a lot of other producers, but I haven't really sat down with a lot of like great songwriters and singers and stuff like that. So that's one thing I'm focusing on for this next EP is really just trying to um, get a lot of really great vocals and just, you know, write great songs versus just writing bangers or whatever, you know. All our merch stuff, we do it ourselves. Jorge and I and Olivia, we do all the designs for the shirts. We built the website, we built everything, and we're shipping it out of my house. Just keep making music, all styles of music. Learn as much as you can and don't stop. Because it, it's not overnight, it, it's gonna take you a little bit, but it's gonna be so worth it.